on today's video stage two of the middle event is here and in this video i'm not only going to tell you how you can win this event and what it's all about but also what ended up happening in our first ever event as we attempted to diplomatically resolve a fair rotation between the four alliances in the middle one alliance wanted pvp fun and the result was very nasty so sit back slap a like on the video and let's go Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Galactic Gecko. We're back in this time stage two of the middle event as this is all for the crown. Now, before we start, don't forget to slap a like on this video. Hit that subscribe down below because we're pumping out the Infinite Galaxy content. And this video is indeed brought to you by the makers of Infinite Galaxy. The middle event stage two is super simple and straightforward. The top four alliances that qualified in stage one now own each a city guard. And they both all four qualify to fight for the crown. The way you fight for the crown is a strictly PvP event. When the event starts, every city city guard is open and you can just tap it and it's your alliances. And from there, not only the city guards are available, but the Imperial City in the middle and the four defense arrays around it. Each building is going to tick for points for two hours. For, for the remaining of two hours, you're going to have to start accumulating points per minute. For holding the middle, you'll get 700 points per minute. For every defense array, you'll get 100 points per minute and you can hold multiple. And for every city guard, you'll get 300 points per minute. And again, you can hold multiple of them. And so all you need to do is have the most points at the end of two hours, which would mean defend your buildings at all costs and hopefully not have to fight too much. Now, the one thing you should know is once you are done and you're declared the victorious one, the crown will appear in the Imperial City and then it will be sent to your city guard for you to protect it for the next six hours. So you got to make sure after you win it, there's, an, there's like a 15 minute cooldown in which the, 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 the crown is being sent and then it pops up here. It stays there for six hours. You got to defend it. And that's about that. Now, throughout the event, you'll be able to teleport into the Imperial Guard territory. But once the event is over, it'll automatically teleport you back to where you were before you teleported here. With that being said, that's the explanation of the event. And now it's time to explain to you a little bit about Nebula 14. We have four main alliances holding the fort in here. GGS, SLA, IOD, and FDM. IOD and GGS are a family. They are the IOD and GGS fam. We're one IGA. And with us as allies and friends, our SLA, our Russian friends, well, our not all Russians because they're uh, we call them the Eastern European friends because they are all from that area. Very, very cool people. Shout out to SLA. And we have FDM, a Japanese alliance, and they have been a little bit of a communication problem with the difference in cultures and difference in, in language barriers. We've had a little bit of a tough time getting them on board and getting a, a, an agreement with them. And in the process, in trying to divide the middle in a fair rotation where all of us get a chance at being kings, um, FDM opted for a PvP solution. And so GGS was lined up to be the first princeps. This is after the second event is done and now IOD have the crown. As a matter of fact, not only IOD have the crown, but my boy Waffle is the princeps. Lord have mercy on all of our souls in Nebula 14. The Waffle has risen. But anyway... Let's go back to two weeks ago and show you what happened. So as I explained to you, um, FDM wanted a little bit of PvP fun. And in the process, IOD, GGS, and SLA, who didn't show up for the event due to the timings, ROC in their place, were all in agreement that GGS were the ones who were going to win this event, and we worked together to get it done. ROC pretty much stayed out of it because they are a Zone 2 alliance that really didn't think that they would get top 4. And IOD showed up to help massively, but this was the first smash. And this was massive. This was huge. FDM just started pouring in. And we had a full building. And for the record, the leadership in the building allows you to hold a certain amount of, of fleets in it. But once the building is being attacked and the red triangle is in, you can pour in as many marches as you can, one per person. And at the end of the fight, those who exceed that leadership limit that the building can hold are sent back. When we saw FDM attack, remove them from friends, change them into enemies to make sure they're they're red and not yellow, 
and IOD came in to help. As FDM started pouring into the building, I mean, we're holding 110 plus million garrison. I went on, grabbed ROC's building, grabbed IOD's building, gaining us 900 points per minute while FDM had their building and an array, which gave them a total of 400 points per minute. So we were definitely ahead and we indeed had the middle. And so we were killing it in the points and we just wanted to secure that crown. FDM kept coming in for more and more PvP, and we just kept giving it to them. IOD started running interference, and then I looked at the reports, and it made me sick. I, I have to show you this fight before I show you the report, because they took a huge loss. 47 million power in one rally in this madness that was FDM smashing into our building, and we had numbers consistently. Our numbers kept going up, 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 and they just couldn't fill quick enough. It was a slaughter. FDM chose to go for PvP fun. We did not want PvP fun. This cost a tremendous amount of losses and huge detrimental, uh, permanent loss to them as well as a little bit to us. And in such case, FDM, uh, IOD came in to the rescue by stopping marches that were coming in to help the middle fight and just tapping them, making them stop their course and fight IOD people, which then caused a complete miscoordination of when the marches came into the fleets, came into this fight. And as you can see, IOD, uh, FDM kept bringing in more. They were maintaining the mid 20s consistently, but they were just not able to go up, up, up in numbers while we went from 70 to 80 to 90 to 120. 120 million power and even further i believe we peaked at like 140 something at some point in one of these fights but in this one i think we stayed up on 120 and then they just realized that maybe we shouldn't keep sending fleets in here they just kept pouring and pouring and pouring into our 121 now million power madness this was a huge loss for FDM, who tried it again and had another huge loss. And from there, they realized that, ugh, this is not going too good. We took the offensive and we want to take their defensive array. And essentially, in this whole mess of a fight, FDM took a beating and backed off. They did decent. They have some presence and they have the strength and capabilities. They're a great alliance overall, but they were inexperienced in this game mode, which we had done plenty of research to 132 million power and just keep going up. We've done our research. We've done our homework. We had our people coordinated and ready to rock and roll. All of our guys were nearby the, the, fort, the, the middle when it got hit. It was full of people. There was no way we were letting it go. Add to that the fact that IOD with their insane presence showed up and picked off a few people, making it harder for them to keep refilling. When this fight ended, we still had 133.6 million fleets flying around in the air, looking for the next target. And while our march, our fleet started going home because there is a limit cap on how much can get in there, every time someone smashed into us, they tried again and we just came right back in roaring. I mean, from 20 to 48 to, and just kept coming up. They kept bringing it as well. Captain Mad, one of the biggest guys in this nebula, just kept pouring his marches in. But we didn't let it go. And oh my God, 66,000 leadership dead. The loss is gone. 211,000 need repairs. 47 million power down in the one report in the one hit and this is still happening they're maintaining 20 plus million the 7.8 uc is interference from iod iod were interfering with captain madden and anyone anyone that was coming in you see the 20 million that you see now of hathaway that's what's hitting middle but they are just not able to keep filling in that middle because IOD keep intercepting them. And so we keep peaking 90s and 92 and keep going up 95 nonstop. And these guys slowly and steadily pouring in. But as they pour in, they take losses. And as they pour in, they take losses. And every time this ends, we come back and fight it again. It was 
an incredible fight. It was insanely fun. It took a lot of losses, but the GG family and IOD family showed who were the most coordinated ones and who are the ones who deserve to run this nebula with our boys, of course, of SLA, who at the time, as I mentioned, couldn't be there due to the fact that it was like at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Eastern European time. I stayed up till 5 a.m. to do the event. I cannot blame them for not doing it. We had a, sl a slight snafu. We were supposed to take IOD's building to 100% secure our victory. Someone was in the building. We asked again and again. IOD said, listen, we told them 10 times to leave. Hit him. So I did. And that hurt. Apologies to you that I hit. It is what it is, right? But once we secured first place ahead of the two hour countdown, we then went on to secure IOD's second place by making sure they pick up the buildings once FDM backed off. And if FDM wanted to PVP, we were ready to PVP because they still had the defense array and they were still coming at IOD who were doing every intercept they could in human planet. And at this point, we were so far ahead and we were continuing to gain the points. FDM started targeting a little bit of IOD. We knew that we might have to come and intercept. We knew that we might have to come and defend, but they kept pouring into the middle again and again. So we couldn't back off of it until we were very sure of what was going on. In the meantime, Galact is Galaxy Star is going on. I am somehow in Kill Event 61 where I had zero points before. Some of our people went up stupendous amounts of kills just from this going nuts, crazy thing in the middle. And it just kept getting worse and worse because they were pouring into us one fleet at a time while we had 20 plus in the building and then another 50 coming in. And it just was madness. By the time this was done, we had decided that it was time to also um, push, F push FDM back. Why not? As we have all these insane reports of these guys taking massive, massive losses after losses, 10 million power, 2 million power, 20 to our 2 million power, just ridiculous amounts of losses. This is still a mind-blowing report to me. It was such a massive hit, such a massive hit. When we realized FDM were backing off a little bit, we decided it's time to go on the aggressive. And as they went after IOD, we took the top defense array and it was time to start moving forward. We're like, you know what? It's uh, IOD need help. It's, I mean, we all need help. All of these repairs are only from this middle event fighting against FDM, how we had cleared our hospitals ahead of time. And now, IOD were like, yo, they're coming for us. We might need some help, obviously. Sin was already in there just killing it or, well, getting wrecked in the process. And when we see our boy getting wrecked, GGS ain't sitting still. FDM is not coming for the middle. Well, we are coming for you, boys. We are not getting our friends in IOD. They came to help us. Well, it's time to pay the favor back. And while we're at it, well, not to pay the favor back, obviously, you know what I'm saying? We're allies. We got to do what we got to do together. And you see this, FDM, just as they came in, they backed off. And from there, we're like, yeah, let's go take their defense array too. Because why the heck not? At the end of this event, FDM ended up in third place. IOD ended up in second. And GGS ended up in the top placement. And I indeed ended up being the first princeps of this nebula. We didn't know there was a six hour period. We had to hold the, 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 the throne for dear life, like I explained to you in the beginning of the video. So that was painfully hard to find out. It's a little bit stressful when you have an alliance that's looking for PVP that now you need to defend yet again after all your guys stayed up for two hours in the middle of the night to get the event done. Now another six hours. I've already told uh, Camel that I think that that's a little bit too much. And here we go. The aggression comes in from our side. It's time to take that defense array back. It's time for us to be the aggressors and not the defenders. Q goes in on this guy and he just gets murked. Another fleet gets found in there. And just like that, bam, bam, we get rid of it all. And now it's time to go for the FDM defense array and, well, get rid of that too. Thankfully, there was not that much in there. There We had plenty of people in here. Another open field march right there, fleet 2.1 million power goes poof. And the little bit that was inside the defense array gets 
murked 22 million power not an easy thing to fight but when we hit it and it was all of that goodness well i guess they gotta go in this might have not been the best hit ever it took us a little bit to coordinate link went in very very early our guys were not positioned to do this correctly and so the few people that hit early on took a massive hit but those who came in later to help, thankfully, we finished it. We got the array. We secured second place for IOD, third place for FDM. And we haven't heard from them ever since. Hopefully, they'll come back to the table. Hopefully, we can get them in the rotation. For now, IOD, as you saw, are second in the rotation. And they already have the crown. Lord have mercy on us all. The waffle has risen. I'm Gecko. I'm out of here. Appreciate some of you who slapped the like on this video. Hit that subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next Infinite Galaxy video where we explain to you all the functionality of being the king.